All right, today we're going to build a Starlink rack for under $10 and get it all installed and up and ready to run in under 10 minutes. I took two PVCs to do this. The internal one is a one inch PVC and the external one is one and a quarter. And these are two, they're like $4 at Home Depot or any other store you can pick them up from. And I'm going to drill a hole through this. I'm going to use a 7 8 inch bit. And the only reason I'm going to drill a hole is what I want to do is I want to run the cable up through the Starlink through the center of the PVC. Now, this I bought off of Amazon, and I'll include a link down below so you can pick one up if you need it. But it'll basically replace the clamp here on the Starlink with this one, and then allows me to mount it on the top of the pipe. Now, that wasn't completely directly related. This is made to go on a special type of pipe, but I'll show you what I did at the top of the PVC to fix that also. So I'm just gonna try to drill a hole straight into this to allow the wire for the Starlink to come out. So it's just gonna take a little bit of, to get it started. And let's turn the tension on the drill up a little bit. It's kind of cutting through this pretty pretty good. Keeps catching a little bit though, but that's it, that's it making it through right there. There we go. All right. It's a little bit of a rough cut. I was hoping for a little bit smoother, but, I, but that takes care of it. So now what I can do is I can show you the top of the pole and how I did this piece of it. So on this end, I just ran some electrical tape around the one inch pipe here in order to get this to fit so that I could tighten it down on it and make it fit really well. The brackets they sell for these, the poles and everything, are about $90, and I wasn't going to pay $90 for a, a $6 PVC, a couple of PVC pipes at Home Depot. Six or eight bucks, I think. I think they were like $3.99 a piece or something like that. So now what I want to do is I'm going to disconnect the Starlink. I'm going to just take the, the one that's on here off, and it just basically unplug the cable like that. And I'm going to pull this one off, place that there. All right, so once you have the hole drilled, you will place this wire in the hole and push it all the way to the other end. And once you get it all the way in, then you'll turn this around to the other end. And this is where you'll see that I have taken electrical tape. And you can use any tape. I use electrical tape because it's fairly water resistant and wrapped it around in order to make this fit much better because this is built for a rack that comes from a pole, a metal pole and stuff, and it's really, they're really expensive. They're 80, 90, 100 bucks or so. So I'm just gonna push this over here, put that on there, and then tighten it down. And that way it holds up really well. Then I'm gonna take the satellite dish, plug this in, to the satellite dish, feed back in the extra wire, and then this satellite dish will just click back in place, like that. Now I can take this, and let me change the angle, and I'll show you how I put it back up. This is pretty simple. I didn't do anything fancy here. Um, I'm just going to pick this, pick this up, and you just turn it to get it to face the northern direction. And it just takes a little bit of twisting to do it. And I'm just gonna set it down here on the ground. And you can see the holes where they are. And I use these zip ties that have the little screw holes in them. So I basically, I'm just gonna put this around here and get this first one on. Cause the first one's the one that gets it to where it holds it up. And then I can move it around and tighten it up from there and do what I need to do. So let's take this first one, and get it in there. It's really the tricky one here because I've got to balance the pole and, and everything that's moving around here. Basically just put that screw in there, 
give it a little tug to make it somewhat tight and then let's repeat on the other side now technically it probably don't need two of these to hold it i give it two because i want it held on good it gets a little windy around here daily especially when there's bad weather and we're going to put that bit back in here and put this side on There we go. And then we're just gonna twist this. And as you can see, I'll just point that camera up and show you what I mean by, you can turn it. So you just turn the PVC to get the right angle. Now, I happen to know that right about there should be pretty much perfect. And then I'm gonna duplicate what I did up top down here at the bottom with another zip tie and a screw. So I'm gonna basically take this, go around here, pull that tight, plants kind of overgrown around here recently. And I'm gonna put this Screw right in here to the wood. And then I'm gonna repeat again, just like I did up high. And that will hold this thing securely, especially with these being held so far apart from each other. One being way up high and one being way down here low it allows leverage to kick in. And there you go. You can just pull these tight, which they are. Check these up here, which they are. And as you can see, we're now mounted to the shed again. And the wire can run out easily, freely and flow over to the RV. That's it, hope this video helps. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.